G'day John for the hot end. Today we're going to take a look at the Folgatec i3 Mega. And what you're looking at is the Folgatec i3 Mega. This is a new uh, release from John Folger over at Folger Technologies and this is a kit printer. Oh, don't turn off. Yes, it's a kit printer. You have to build this printer. Now, a lot of you I know are out there going, ah, bugger that, I'm not building a printer. I just want to get a printer and start printing. Well, that's fair enough. Yes, you can do that. There are lots of printers on the market, that, well, some that we've reviewed, that go together really quickly and you're up and printing within half an hour. And if that's what you like to do and you like to just print stuff, you know, fine. But what happens when that printer stops printing? Something goes awry, something breaks, something needs to be fixed. And from what I've seen on some of the Facebook groups, this happens quite a lot. A lot of people that have these printers have no idea where to start as far as fixing problems. English side ruined. Must use French instructions. Le grill. What the hell is that? Now, everything that I have learnt in the 3D printing field, I have learnt from putting together kit printers. I've done several now. Building a kit is the only way that you can really, really learn about 3D printing. Now, as I think the professor once said not long ago, there are people that like printing things and there are people that like printers. Can I play with it? No, you can't play with it. You won't enjoy it on as many levels as I do. <laughs> I'm, I am both, and a lot of you are, I know. But I get as much enjoyment out of building the printer, tinkering with it, uh, playing with uh, various settings and, and uh, add-ons and what have you. I get as much out of that as I do out of actually printing stuff. And the learning factor is huge when you put together a kit. Now, I can't ethically tell you that this is a review of the Folgatec i3 Mega printer because I've been involved with John Folger in getting this thing to a point where it's where it's marketable. The original one that I received was a, a prototype printer. There was no manual. Uh, I built the printer from two or three photos that are on the uh, on the website. So it was a really ground up experience for me, but I've done it before, so it was no big deal. There were things that I found with the prototype that needed to be fixed straight away. The lead screws that mine came with were, were these things, which are like from your hardware store. So we got rid of those real quick. So they're no, no longer on the printer. Uh, it has proper trapezoid lead screws now. There were a few other things that I found that were problematic with the one that I received. But by working through a few things and, and uh, speaking with, with John, we were able to iron out any of the bugs that, that I came across so that the printer that you buy, if you buy one, will have all of those bugs ironed out for you. The only thing you have to do, and now that there's a, a really good manual to go with it, is, is build the thing, allow yourself five, 10 hours, and maybe more if you're completely new to printing, uh, to get it put together and to get it to a point where it works. Now, a few basics of the printer is it's a 300 by 300 by 400 build volume. The printer will need a few things, as far as I'm concerned anyway. It needs a uh, part cooling fan, uh, 
and again that's part of the fun as far as I'm concerned in getting uh, knowledge and getting a printer up and running because you'll have to go on Thingiverse and find a part cooling fan mount and figure out how you're going to fit that to the printer. You may have to modify it, you may have to go into Tinkercad or one of those other uh, programs, Fusion 360 or one of those and, and have a play with that. That's how I learnt the little bit that I know of those programs by playing around making parts for printers. I also printed a, a box for the uh, electronics and the board to go in because I didn't like it sort of freeballing out in the open air and so I made a box to put all that in. There was some wiring clips and a few other things that I went into just to, to make it more personalised to me. Now as I said, I've had involvement with this printer so I, I cannot say to you uh, that this is uh, an unbiased opinion because it obviously is biased. Uh, I've had some involvement, but I believe that this printer and it's printing, that's where I'm looking down, it's under the camera printing. The printer is probably the best learning tool for 3D printing that you will get. It is sort of a poorer cousin, if you like, to the Folgatec FT5 that I use as still my go-to printer. It's a little bit cheaper than the FT5. The FT5 is a better printer, uh, but again, that's a kit and you have to put it together. Now, I believe John is going to offer a, a Bowden setup for this printer. It will be a very low cost option, a few dollars. If you wanna go the Bowden way, this one has a direct extruder. The extruder that came with the prototype that I had, I didn't like very much at all. So I swapped it out and you'll see in the, uh, in the videos that uh, I'm using a, a, B, it's a BPS extruder, which don't try and find one because you can't buy them anymore. I changed out the uh, X carriage mount. The one that came with it was a three bearing X carriage. I again went on Thingiverse, found some X carriages, put two or three of them into Tinkercad and sort of melded them together and printed a new X carriage, which actually is a four bearing X carriage because the weight of the extruder, I believe, really warrants it. You can get away without it, but that's what I did. I also put vibration dampeners on the X and Y motor mounts. Uh, this helped a lot with the print quality. You will see from the pictures of the prints that I've done that it, uh, it prints really nicely. Uh, I can't fault it as a printer, it's extremely quiet. But this printer will ever, only ever be as good as your build. And that's what makes it so damned interesting as far as I'm concerned because you you get to build it you get to learn about it and you get to make it as good as you possibly can with your own skill now by that I mean that there is a huge amount of satisfaction in not only printing something and printing it very very well but also having the knowledge that hey I built that printer Look at it, there it is sitting on the bench and I built it and it works and it prints. So I find that very gratifying. All right, there'll be links in the description for the i3 Mega. Uh, yes, we do get a small commission on this one if you use the hot end discount code. So you'll get it a little bit cheaper. But there'll also be links to the FT5, which if you can afford it, I would really, really recommend. And I believe if you use our discount code, you get discount on everything on the Folger Tech website. So there's another bonus for you. Now I will also add, for all you guys in the US, you will have the advantage with this printer that it is a US company. All right, the parts 
are imported and, and most of them are Chinese, the same as you get in the other Chinese printers. But the company that sells you the printer is a US company. Woohoo! USA! 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 They have a very, very good after sales backup service. You just have to shoot them an email and they will help you with any problem that you may have. They're really, really good to deal with. The freight is going to be much, much better getting a printer from the US rather than from somewhere else. And to top it all off, John Folger I regard as a friend of mine, even though we've never met face to face. And I'd love to see you support him and what he's trying to do for the 3D printing industries. Okay, that's about it for the Folgatec i3 Mega. As I say, it's a kit. Don't be scared. In fact, treat it as a positive, treat it as a learning experience. And I think you will really benefit from that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, it helps us out a lot. Become a Patreon if you're that way inclined. Um, that word always surprises me. Patreon? Patron. Anyway, uh, that would help us out a lot. And we will see you on the next video. Bye. Yeah, yeah.